Today, we are going to talk about kite and its properties. As we define kite, it is a quadrilateral with no pairs of parallel sides. Unlike sa ibang quadrilaterals, they have their opposite sides. And also in trapezoid, it has exactly one pair of parallel sides. Sa kite, wala siyang parallel sides. Pero, meron siyang tinatawag na congruent adjacent sides. So, when we say congruent adjacent sides, meaning magkasunod or magkatabi. So, when we say congruent adjacent sides, itong part na to is congruent to these sides. So, that is KI congruent to IT or this side congruent to this side. So, we have KE congruent to ET. Okay, so that is what we call the congruent adjacent sides. Now, let us proceed with the properties of kite. Number one, we have this so-called diagonals are perpendicular. So, when we say perpendicular, it forms 90 degrees. So, let me draw the diagonal, which is IE and KT. So, perpendicular, it forms 90 degrees at the point of intersection. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng 90 degrees, another 90, 90, and 90. So, we can say that the diagonal, IE, is perpendicular to diagonal, KT. Remember the symbol of perpendicular, nakabaliktad na letter T. Number two, one pair of opposite angles are congruent so this property referring to this angle angle k and angle t so yung left and right angles they are congruent to each other so we have angle k congruent to angle t and then last property we have one diagonal forms two congruent triangles if we use the shorter diagonal, for example, we draw the diagonal KT, obviously, magkaiba naman yung dalawang triangle na nabuo natin. So, this property number 3 is referring to the longer diagonal. So, if we draw the longer diagonal, i.e., nagpo-form sila ng dalawang congruent triangles. And that triangle is triangle KIE congruent to triangle TIE. Number four, we have one diagonal bisects a pair of opposite angles. So, it refers to diagonal IE, the longer diagonal. So, meaning, we are bisecting a pair of opposite angles. So, this angle is congruent to this angle. Okay, so if we are going to name that angle, that is angle KIE angle KIE congruent to angle TIE. So that is angle TIE. And then another pair is this angle congruent to this angle. So we have angle KEI congruent to angle TEI. So I hope hindi kayo nalilito kung paano magpangalan ng angle. So when we say KIE from K papunta sa I papunta sa E. So, yung nasa gitna na nag-form na angle, yun yung KIE. Yun yung angle na tinutukoy natin. The same with TIE. From T, papunta kay I, papunta kay E. So, yung angle na nabuo at the middle. So, as you can see, yung letter sa gitna is letter I. Ibig sabihin, yung letter I or yung angle I, yun yung hinati natin or binisect into two equal parts. The same goes with angle E. 
Kaya nasa gitna si angle E. Okay? And then last property we have number 5, one diagonal bisects the other diagonal. Number 5 property, it refers to diagonal KT. So, si KS congruent siya kay ST. Diagonal KS congruent to ST. Meaning, kung ano yung sukat ni KS, yun din yung sukat ni ST. The same goes with all the properties na binanggit natin kanina when we say congruent, parehas lang ng sukat. Okay, so I hope you understood and learn about the properties. Now, let us try to answer this activity and let us apply some of the properties. So, if Ki is equal to 5 cm, what is the value of It? So, since they are congruent adjacent sides, meaning parehas lang sila ng sukat. So, It is also 5 cm. Number 2, if Ks is 6 cm, this is 6, what is the value of Kt, yung buong diagonal? So, alam natin from the property na one diagonal bisect the other diagonal. So, meaning, si St, congruent lang siya kay Ks. So, parehas lang yan, 6. And then, since kt yung hinahanap, ipag a lang natin. So, 6 plus 6, that is 12 cm. Now, let us have number 3. If angle KIS is equal to 30 degrees, then angle KIT is equal to... Okay, so let us solve this one. KIS, so let us say from K going to I going to S, meaning yung angle na nagform is in the middle. So, this is 30 degrees. If that is 30 degrees, we are looking for KIT. From K going to I going to T. So, ibig sabihin, ang hinahanap natin is yung kabuoang sukat ni angle I. So, since this is 30 degrees, yung kalahati niya is also 30 degrees because they are just congruent. So, let us just add them. So, 30 plus 30, we're going to have 60 degrees. So, angle KIT is 60 degrees. Number 4. If angle IKE is equal to 55 degrees. IKE. So, meaning this angle is 55 degrees. What will be the measure of angle ITE? ITE. Meaning this angle. So, obviously, congruent lang din naman sila. So, this is also 55 degrees. And then, last number, number 5. If angle KET is equal to 80 degrees, from K going to E going to T, meaning we are referring to the whole angle E. So, this is angle E. It measures 80 degrees. What will be the measure of angle KEI? So, ang hinahanap lang is from K going to E going to I. So, yung kalahati lang yung hinahanap. So, obviously, half of 80 is... 40 degrees. I hope you learned something. Thank you.